CMS Web Interface An Introduction to Smarter Reporting The CMS Web Interface is a user-friendly, secure, internet-based application for submitting data on a sample of Medicare beneficiaries for a specific set of quality measures under the Quality Payment Program. You can report your quality data through any of the following methods or a combination. Manually entering data for each patient in the user interface, uploading an Excel file in a CMS-approved template, Application Programming Interface, or API. How the system works. CMS provides a sample of beneficiaries for each scored quality measure that your team will report. These samples are taken from all of the patients that your organization has submitted Medicare claims for during the performance year. You will then report on just that sample of beneficiaries. Each performance year, there is a specific set of quality measures required in the CMS web interface. For each measure, you're required to answer all questions for the first 248 consecutive beneficiaries ranked in that measure, or all of the beneficiaries supplied in the sample if you have less than 248. You'll notice that there are usually more than 248 beneficiaries ranked in each measure. Any beneficiary above the 248 mark is considered to be part of the oversample and is not required to be completed in order to get a score for the measure. The oversample is provided in order to allow your team to skip beneficiaries that may no longer be eligible for the sample or the measure. Successful reporting. You must report the first 248 beneficiaries consecutively for them to count toward the 248. You'll always be prompted to complete all required questions for 248 consecutively ranked beneficiaries in total, or the total number of beneficiaries who are ranked in the measure if the number is lower than 248. If you need to skip one beneficiary within the first 248 consecutively ranked beneficiaries in the measure, your minimum requirement will increase to 249. The more beneficiaries you skip, the higher the minimum number of consecutively ranked beneficiaries will be for you to complete your reporting requirement for the measure. For example, if you skip a total of 10 beneficiaries within the first 248 consecutively ranked beneficiaries, your minimum required number of consecutively ranked beneficiaries to complete reporting on will move to 258. When skipping a beneficiary, make sure to select a skip reason to ensure complete reporting. If you are participating in the Merit-Based Incentive Payment System, MIPS, once you complete the minimum reporting requirement for each of the measures, you'll receive a Quality Performance Category Score, which will count towards your final MIPS score. Note. You must complete the minimum reporting requirement for all of the CMS web interface measures for a given performance year to receive a MIPS quality category score of more than zero. For further information about the CMS web interface reporting policies, measure specifications, and other related materials, please see the latest final rule and supporting documentation in the resource library at qpp.cms.gov. We encourage you to watch the rest of the videos in this series for details on how to use the CMS web interface.